Hey, Snyder Crusaders. So uh, in light of everything we've just been talking about uh, and how I just can't take the politicization of everything anymore, I intentionally stayed away from all this weekend, from all the doctors, well, not only their press conferences, but like the reporting on their press conferences, because like these reporters don't have any clue what any of this stuff really means. So I wanted to stay away from it until we could talk to Professor Vincent Racaniello, of course, who we talk to every Monday. Um, and he's the professor of virology at Columbia University. And you got to watch his podcast, watch or listen, microbe.tv. It's called This Week in Virology. And why are you not watching it yet? Of course, you know all about it. Professor, how are you, sir? I'm pretty well, thank you very much. Good. I'm glad you're here. So let's talk with, maybe we start with like medicines like, like and treatments. Um, what is your understanding of, of what the president was given and, and why? So um, <laughs> this is tough because who knows uh, what he's actually been given, right? But one of the things I'm pretty sure he got, and I have multiple sources, is a monoclonal antibody cocktail that is made by Regeneron. And this is an experimental drug that consists of two monoclonal antibodies. These are proteins that bind the virus and block it from infecting cells. And that has just been through a 250 person study. It's still ongoing. It looked like it works pretty well when you give it early in infection. That is the key here. And I think uh, they caught the president early in infection and they decided to give him this monoclonal antibody cocktail, which would really knock down the virus early before it made serious problems. And most of us can't do that because this drug is not uh, approved for anyone else yet. So uh, the, if you give these drugs to people in the hospital, it's too late because the virus has already done its damage. But in my guess is in his case, it was pretty early on. So they're gonna catch the virus before it can do a lot of damage. Uh, and so that's one wow. drug that I think is key here, the monoclonal antibody cocktail from Regeneron. Wow, okay, well that could be potentially very good news moving forward for other people as well, if again, sure. caught soon. Uh, I've heard the word experimental. There's a couple words you said there that I've heard lately that I'd, I'd like to find. So how do you define experimental? What does that technically mean? So technically it means that the FDA has not approved the use of the drug in people. So it's not gone through all the tests that have to be done before the FDA approves it. So it's experimental. There's not even an emergency use authorization, which means you got wow. some results with your drug which look pretty good, uh, and so the FDA says, okay, we can do emergency use, which means if you have a case where you think you need this, tell us and, and we'll give you approval for it. Uh, what the president got was experimental use, you know, compassionate use. His physicians applied and, and they got it for that. But, you know, wow. we couldn't so that's do that. very experimental. It sounds like almost, yeah. almost like, I don't want to say recklessly so, but I mean, that's, if you said it's only been really tried in 250 people in a trial, is that right? Yeah, so far. And, you know, there were a couple Whoa. of adverse effects, right? Serious adverse effect, no deaths, but people had some reactions. Yep. We don't know the nature of those. So it's a little bit risky, but I think if, if I don't know what the, what the procedure was, but I know people at Regeneron, they're good virologists there and good scientists. And, you know, if they spoke with the, the White House physicians, they probably told them, you know, we, we think this is okay. That would be my guess. Wow, that was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.